Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a few other categories, including stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney even. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you are already Already subscribed thank you again so so much for being here every day and welcome back today I have a great box that I've now been opening pretty consistently for the past few months and that is my Ireland box this has been sent to me for review you can kind of see that faint image of the cliffs of Moher now it does have a long way to get to me all the way from Dingle Ireland to me here in Southern California so sometimes the box itself is a little worse for wear even though it comes in a nice mailer bag but the contents are always fantastic Fantastic. Now this box is $49.95 per month. Obviously, if you're able to do a multi-month subscription, you can save a little money. And then the shipping all the way again from Dingle Ireland to me here in California is $15.50, which might seem a little bit pricey, but when you consider the cost of shipping even domestically these days, let alone internationally, I do think it is great to get a nice little treat, a nice little taste of Ireland every month. And you guys, obviously I am not Irish, but I do love Ireland. I've only had the opportunity to visit there once with my husband a few years ago but it was such a beautiful experience it is a gorgeous country the people are fantastic and I cannot wait until I get to go back and visit again because there's so much more to see and even favorites to revisit once again so let's go ahead and dive into this box now I do have a code for you it's just Maui that will save you five dollars often she has some other fun discounts going on where you might get a free gift with your subscription so definitely check it out and do what is best for you now some of you I know watch me just here on YouTube so you're probably wondering why Maui is sometimes involved in my codes. It is part of my handle over on Instagram at Maui underscore Noel but it is also where I had the privilege of growing up on the island of Maui. The Hi and Hi Noel is actually the abbreviation for the state of Hawaii, so that's where all of that comes from. But I know some of you are wondering why Maui shows up on my channel sometimes if, again, you are only watching me here on YouTube. I would love to see you, of course, over on Instagram too. So let's open it up. It says, hello from Ireland, and we have their bright green tissue paper from the Emerald Isle, even though it's more of a lime green. Um, and now there's usually a nice book that Catherine the curator puts together for us so it's usually at the bottom so I might have to do a little bit of digging to find it um, but it's always just so lovely and she tells us so much about the makers each month so this month wow this is quite a big this is a quite a hefty booklet I know a lot of you don't some of you don't like the reading and some of you really cherish these booklets every single month this time the April 2022 box is Ireland's folklore and fairy tales that's so exciting and it's got this beautiful image of a bee. I love that green. So on the back, it does tell us a little he heads up for the next one. It says, oh, what a journey you have to look forward to in May. We all love the thatched cottages that are dotted around Ireland and our grandparents' abodes came to mind. So clearly when curating this gorgeous My Ireland box, it represents the inside of the traditional Irish cottage perfectly. And we bring you all the traditions and beliefs that would have floated around within the spirit of the cottage during the month of May too. So she's done uh, the Irish cottage box before, but of course this will be a different incarnation of it. Since you'll also be brought on a little walk with us as we hike through the fields of Ardamore on the Dingle Peninsula with Katie's grandfather and uncle, we're brought to ancient and spiritual monuments that lie dominant within the fields surrounding their farm. It's an amazing one and you will love it. So that's a little uh, heads up on the May box, you guys, if you want to hear about uh, traditional Irish cottage life. So let's take a look at this one. Now she does usually do a nice lengthy letter and that looks like the case. Now the first section of this looks like it's got some spoilers in terms of the items. So I'm going to hold off on reading that to you. And then she does take us on a trip to Duncan and hike from the Blasket Center to Duncan Pier. So you can see she does this nice way of kind of instead of having it just be a typewritten letter which what is what it was before it's kind of a little bit more um, in terms of the formatting with some beautiful images from this lovely hike that they did we see a, like a castle uh, let's see what else we have we have uh, even some links to some YouTube videos to watch so you can read more about it 
Then we have an interview with the Dingle Druid, Julie Malone, who has been one of the makers featured in past My Ireland boxes. And so it looks like she is very much in touch with nature and Irish folklore. So she asked her if she believes in fairies, and she says they're so present with us and in our Irish heritage. So she talks to her a little bit about that. She also does an interview with Anne, a local here in Dingle that called in for a cup of tea recently. So maybe she has some opinions about fairies as well. And then finally, towards the end of the booklet, we do have these sections where it says, let's meet the makers. And these are the sections that I do like to read to you. And of course, there is always a recipe card. So we'll have to find out what our recipe is this month. So it looks like there's lots of information. She even left us some blank note pages this time around. So I will turn back to the let's meet the makers page. And then if we have a little bit of time at the end, I'll read that first part of the letter from Catherine so that we can um, learn a little bit more about her ideas in putting this beautiful box together. But this is a really cool theme. I love sort of legends and folklore and um, when we kind of have that little element of the supernatural in our lives. So you guys, first of all, I have to look at this huge box of something delicious. So she sends us the most delicious treats, both savory and sweet. This is on the sweet side. Kilbegan Irish Oat Cookies with Chocolate Chip. It says, handmade in Ireland with oats grown by the Lawler family. Kilbegan Organic Form Farm, Ballard, Kilbegan Company, Westmeath, and Ireland. So chocolate chip Irish oat cookies, you guys. Can you see them? They look chunky and delicious. I'm wondering if they're crispy or chewy. I'm hoping that they're a little bit chewy because that is my preference. But let me see if I can find some information about these for you. Where are these? So, hmm. I don't actually see these. I will find them, I'm sure. So I, this must be from... Huh, says Kilbegan Irish Oat Cookies. I don't see the like makers here, but we'll probably read a little bit more about it in a second. So um, maybe it's just a company that she decided to give us this delicious treat from. All right, you guys, let's go ahead. Of course, it just caught my eye first, so I had to look at that first. So we have something really cute. It's got like a little bunny sticker on it, so it's all wrapped up. So I'm gonna have to open this up and see what we've got. So this is... Hmm, there's a little product card. So, oh, this is from the Wild Felter, which we've gotten some gorgeous items over the probably past couple years that I've been opening this box on and off from the Wild Felter. Like some of my favorite things are the um, coffee cups that we've gotten. So I'm super excited about this, you guys. I just love, love, love her stuff. So this is from Molly Ellis, and it is perfect for the season, you guys. There's just a little piece of cardboard to keep it stiff. And it is a beautiful image of a felted bunny oh my gosh and it even has like her signature there on the bottom isn't that cute it says Molly is so inspiring she's an excellent artist and so in touch with nature she's built a new house that is completely sustainable drives around in her electric car and she and her husband Shane were featured on our national RTE nationwide program recently where they talked about their decarbonization journey the needle felt artist behind the Irish wildlife brand the wild felter Molly trained in Crawford College of Art Cork in fine art she always had an affinity with the wildlife and it seemed like a natural progression Progression to use raw materials from animals as her tools. This bunny is just so, so special. One of my favorite pieces is the Carrie Way. I used only raw undyed wool for the majority of it. I was determined after all wool should depict wool. I knew I wanted to create every day, but also create a life that meant something. So it says to be surrounded with my animals, what else could I ask for? So Molly followed her dreams and launched her own wildlife art business from her very own Irish cottage in Cork. Initially, she made needle felted originals and some prints, but as she evolved and so did her craft, Molly began to print her art onto mugs and other ceramics. She also makes the most beautiful paperweights and cute jewelry. I would love to see that. It says Molly is at one with nature, is a free spirit and happy and cheerful. I wanted to work with her again as I, soon as I saw her little Easter bunny. What a happy little one to see every day to cheer up. Enjoy framing him or her and uh, trust this little cutie will bring a smile to your face as it does to ours here in our household since she was framed and placed on our wall. So love. Look at the like how cute the eye is too in this little felted bunny. I'm so into that so that's a cute little item so so far so good so here is another delicious treat from Mienna's I Irish handmade nougat with roasted almonds you guys so I didn't used to be like a big nougat fan until I had some from um, from a French box which was fantastic it says created in the Glen of Imal surrounded by lush Irish countryside Mienna started something new inspired by nature bees making honey fresh ingredients and nothing artificial Mienna's kitchen specialize in nature's goodness 
this her love for simplicity and all things good is family values she holds dear honey cranberry and pistachio green colors are reflected in her logo that depicts her energy and determination timeless recipes were tweaked with a fusion of south african irish and continental influences the result is something unique mina's hands made all her nougat in a specially designed nougat kitchen all products are individually wrapped with care to make them the perfect gift for any occasion giving of nature's best is quite something in today's overly commercial world imagine a sweet so healthy with not too much sugar it is a sweet a treat that talks wisely find taste buds that have never walked and discover subtle flavors not experienced before mina has had her kitchen certified gluten-free and this means all of her products are celiac friendly the balance of her ingredients ensures undulating sweetness fresh almonds and pistachio nuts and berries a comforting soft consistency this choice blend comes from hours of mina's efforts combining her ideas with uncompromising passionate attention to quality a very happy discovery and a delicious one at that so i feel like we've got this nice like little easter basket basket situation going on you guys gotta love that then we have ooh something from cool redesign now she has uh worked with them on a couple of different things uh i believe one of our sheep from a sheep box as well as a beautiful hand turned ornament that we got for the holidays so this is something again that looks like they've worked on together it says uh tigin nam Lath. i have no idea how to read gaelic so i'm sure that i butchered that but it translates to little house of flowers so it did come in this nice gift box it says cool redesign a stem vase representing a a fairy door of fairy flowers of the world to remind you of your connection with nature we dream it and Warren makes it oh my gosh you guys here is an image of it and how you use it so it's like this slice of wood and then it's probably got a little hole so that you can put a few little um, beautiful sprigs of florals in there so I love this it says bring home the memories of a day spent searching for fairies display the wildflowers you find along the way in this little house of flowers fairies make their homes in some of the most beautiful and quirky places so you're sure to find some some gorgeous wildflowers along the way but remember to leave enough flowers behind for the fairies so it says having a long history in Irish folklore the ash tree is considered one of Ireland's sacred trees three out of the five magic trees of Ireland were ash along with oak and yew so yours is made out of ash wood I just think this is so cool I love hand turned or um, wood things wow you guys this is so cool so it actually has those words in Gaelic that I cannot say, as well as a little clover, and then burned on the other side. It does say cool redesign. So it almost looks like a little rainbow that's kind of cut out. So maybe you guys can see that. And of course, we have that beautiful wood grain. And there on the top is a little hole. So you're not going to put necessarily um, water in there. It's not really a vase so much as it is a nice little display for your wildflowers that maybe will dry really nicely as well if you put them into your window. Oh, we do have a little vase element. This is so cool, you guys. So it does have this little like plastic test tube that you can put in there so you could actually make them last a little bit longer that is so smart so cool it doesn't go all the way in but that's okay it's probably going to give your stem a little bit more uh, structural integrity so it says we love talented wood turners here at my ireland box the skill depicted is magnificent and warren has been our chosen one for a while now if we dream up a treasure for you and want someone to expertly carve it for us based in county kildare warren Hayes utilizes traditional techniques whilst creating wood turn treasures with very modern appeal and that's what I love about their pieces is very modern very contemporary feeling it says his furniture making knowledge and skill was forged at the illustrious GMIT in Mayo in the west of Ireland and further developed through his work with some of the most esteemed furniture designers and manufacturers in the UK New Zealand and Australia Warren prototypes each and every product using hand tools and every product is made using carefully selected timber in his workshop and then is finished by hand you need to get the right timber because if not the piece will begin to work crack or twist says Warren my favorite timbers are ash and walnut it's very important to have good quality wood even if the piece is painted afterwards this vase called Tig in Namblath is a representation of a fairy door oh that's what that is how cool it says those of the flower fairies of the world Tig Tigin means little house in Gaelic and Namblath Nam Mabla, num blah means of flowers so it's a little house of the flowers we are reminded of our duty to the earth and to respect it this is not a fairy door of the irish fairies we shall leave their portals behind and their sacred trees and wells here in ireland where they belong however enjoy it as a representation of the fairy world in ireland and from all over the world let it bring you joy so love that little nod to the fairies but again very modern um and i think it's really cute that it has that little clover on it 
We have one final item in this box, you guys, as well as, of course, our recipe card. And it is a book. We do often get books in this subscription. This, of course, is an Irish folk and fairy tales book. So this looks interesting. It says, this was a charming little book to read. And believe me, I went through many until I found the one on this particular subject that I thought would suit you. I did also consider meeting the other crowd by the folklore and fairy specialist that is Eddie Lenehan. Do read it if you wish to. But there were some comments within that I did not agree with in the introduction, so I felt that it was not right for me to send it to you. However, the stories within are great. I adored the book Old Ways, Old Secrets, Pagan Ireland, Myth, Landscape, and Tradition by Joe Kerrigan, and I would highly recommend that. There's also Legendary Ireland Myths and Legends of Ireland by Ethne Massey, and another of hers that I enjoyed was The Turning of the Year, Lore and Legends of the Irish Seasons. I chose this book because the stories come from famous Irish writers such as Yeats, and I love the poetry within. One of my favorite stories is The Lady of Galaris on page 63, an area only a few miles away from me here as I write this. Enjoy these lovely little stories, a perfect little book to transport you to the world of Irish folklore whenever you wish for a little time out, which is like all the time. And I love that they're like short little digestible nuggets of fun. So it says, Emerging from a people with an absolute belief in the little folk, the fairy tales of Ireland are part of one of the richest folk literatures in the world. In this wonderful collection of stories by some of Ireland's finest writers, including Carlton Yates and Lady Wilde, a legion of fairy folk, giants, leprechauns, witches, and mermaids help, hinder, charm, and terrify their mortal neighbors. These much-loved tales include the story of the farmer who offends the fairies by building on their dancing ground, the king who loses his wife in a chess game, and the smith who learns his skill at working brass and iron during his seven-year apprenticeship to the giant Mayon McMahon says the heroes and saints of the Celtic sagas are here as well in beautifully written versions of the old bardic stories of Finn, Deirdre, Colquhoun, 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 and Bridget. It says still wielding the power to enthrall and enchant modern readers, these ancient tales open the door to a strangely familiar world of mystery and magic. That actually sounds really delightful, doesn't it, you guys? Speaking of which, uh, we have our recipe card, and it's always a beautiful, very inspiring image, so you might want to make these, looks like hot cross buns to me, make these and then tuck into your nice folk and fairy tales. It is indeed. It says, I've been eating hot cross buns galore these days a few times a week for my breakfast, smothered in my newly discovered locally made rhubarb and ginger jam. That sounds good. I sometimes add some peanut butter, but many just spread Irish butter on them and then they pop out of the toaster. Do try your hand at making these. They're not so difficult, she said says. So we do have mom's heavenly hot cross buns. So this is the recipe on the back. And again, that inspiring image there on the front. So let me see if it says anything in that introductory paragraph about those Kilbegan Irish oat cookies, you guys. Those look so, so good to me says, I've been excited to send this My Ireland box to you for quite some time now, and since I dreamed of Tegan Namblath, I still didn't get that even though she wrote the pronunciation out, I asked Warren from Cool Redesign to make it for you and he's been busy within his wood turning studio for months. I like to call him the My Ireland box resident wood turner as lately he has turned out some wonderful art that came from both of our imaginations. It's to be used as a stem vase and is also a fairy door, those of the worldly flower fairies, hence its Gaelic name. P Gin num blah, meaning the house of little flowers. It says Mien is nougat, of course, and it, it's a little first for my Ireland members and oh so joyful. The little Irish bunny I could not leave behind once I saw Molly show it off, an Easter treat for sure. And then those biscuits. So here is where we hear about it. Kilbegan sent us a whole variety box to try it. Oh my, they're so delicious. Can you taste that real Irish butter in them? I can't wait, you guys. Yum, I love another flavor, and if you like them, I will put that new flavor in a future box. I'm sure that it's gonna be delicious. I want to wonder what it is. It says, do let me know. Also, the book is just packed full of all those fairy and folklore stories that we're used to here in Ireland. And I love the poetry, of course, also within it. There are short stories within it, so it's a great one to pick up every so often or to just sit and read it in one day and eat all the goodies while you do. Keep reading as you're coming on a hike with us. So she then introduces the hike that she tells us all about in the next few pages. So what a fun box. I love it. It is so perfect for spring. We've got all of these flowers and of course we have an, a little uh, inspiration to collect a few wildflowers and be reminded of the magic of the fairies out there. We have our lovely Irish folk and fairy tales book and we have some delicious, delicious treats with those cookies and the nugget, maybe the hot cross buns. And then I just think that this is just so, so sweet. What a great little uh, holiday piece to have out or maybe year round. You all let me know in the comments below what you thought about this 
April My Ireland box what your favorite item was. Again, I always love hearing if you've traveled to Ireland, if you have a favorite town there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.